This tutorial is going to demonstrate how to use the Loft tool in Autodesk Inventor. To do this, we're just going to take a very simple shape on, on, on a sketch here. I'm just going to take a, let's do a polygon for the first sketch. Now, I'm not even going to constrain or dimension this because I'm just demonstrating how to use the tool itself. What I need for a loft is I need two sketches on two different planes. So this is my first plane. I just use one of the three origin planes available here. For my next sketch, I'm going to do an offset plane, which means I'm going to reference the plane I just used. First, I'm going to select the offset from plane, select the plane that I just used, and I can either drag this arrow or I can put in a distance between the two planes. And for our purpose, it's kind of irrelevant right now. I'm just going to make it, I don't know, a couple inches. Inch and a quarter, there we go, or excuse me, inch and an eighth. I'm going to draw another sketch on that second plane. In this one, I'm going to do, let's just do a center point rectangle. Okay. So I have two sketches on two different planes here, which happen to be parallel. I think that's just easier to start out to best understand how the loft tool works. Now I'm going to select the loft tool under the 3D model tab. And there are different types of lofts with different rails, but I'm not going to use any rails right now. I'm just going to use my sketches under the sections side here. So if I click to add, I should be able to select my two sketches. And as you can see with the preview, the loft essentially finds ways to connect those two sketches. This is essentially what the loft does and why it is such a useful tool because it can create really interesting and useful transitions between two very different objects. Now generally when you see the preview that means that it's going to work. Click OK and as you can see it's a very interesting shape. It's very smooth and it's generally a very efficient way of connecting two different designs. I encourage you to play with this, use some rails, use the center line, and you can see all the different objects that you can create. This is probably one of my favorite tools for customizing things, um, but that is how you use the Loft tool in Autodesk Inventor.